Brain Delusion 0089 Multi-Structured Tapered Pants. Yes, I spelled that right. No, I don't know why that's the name of the company. And all the about page on their website says is Reindeer Generate an Illusion. So do with that as you may. Speaking of the company, Rain Delusion is a Chinese company that makes clothes with the theme of cubism, restructuring, urbanite, with a focus on transmitting the ideas of Jingong Bingjing and City Walker. That sounds like techwear to me, and I sure am a sucker for those techwear vibes but without the premium techwear costs. That's why if you look for budget techwear videos, Rain Delusion sometimes comes up. But other than the one-off reference of them, and that one video Antoine did, there isn't a whole lot in this brand that's been around for a while. Rain Delusion offers quality clothing at a competitive price. I mean, for the cost of a pair of Levi jeans that haven't seen innovation or major structural change since 1863, you can get ergonomic 3D multi-cut pieces to make structural design adduction presents a conical state along with double dart position of knee and fold line structure, accord with body arc outline and dress habit. That being said, what do you get for your 95 schmackaroos, plus shipping from China, which is both expensive and long, but if you wait for a sale, which happens pretty often, you can snag these bad boys for less than sticker price, even with the shipping on top. One of the defining features of techwear is the use of some fabric that nobody has ever heard of that was developed for some space program that is light, waterproof, and breathable, unlike every other material they use. So what are these Rain Delusion 0089 multi-structured tapered pants made of? 92% nylon, 8% spandex. Nylon being the world's first totally synthetic textile fiber invented in 1939 and known for its resistance to heat, sunlight, and abrasion. This nylon fabric, which has the robust texture on the outside and soft on the inside, paired with 3M Scotchgard technology, makes a durable, comfortable, and water-resistant pantaloon. The downside though? These are bar none the loudest pants I own. It's like walking around in corduroy pants. Listen to this. Even when I was filming at a nature preserve for this, you can hear the pants in the video. It was pretty funny walking past people on the trail in awkward silence, and the only sound is in the forest is just your pant legs singing the song of their people. That being said, these pants feel well made, from the fabric and stitching to the zippers and pockets. The fabric is indeed multi-cut in intuitive ways that give the pants a unique shape that gives you an adjustable cinching waist with elastic in the back, then widens way out in the thighs giving you tons of maneuverability and comfort that comes with a loose fit. And finally tapering down to form-fitting zip-down calves that you don't need to struggle to put your foot through. So basically you get a modern version of those pants they wear in Avatar. No wait, they're good Avatar. The zippers and pockets. These zippers are nice and they don't just flop around all willy-nilly. They stay either to or fro. These mamma jammas enclose some of the biggest low-key cargo pockets I've ever seen. As another staple of tech wear is slapping pockets and straps all over the place, these pants don't do that. They have one strap, which you can just throw through the belt loops, and two cargo pockets that are hidden in the folds of the wide thighs. And although cargos are hidden, they are still massive. The pocket extends almost to the back of the leg, allowing you to fit just about anything you'd want. 
let's play a game. How many chicken flavored top ramens do you think can fit in these bad boys? 10? Perhaps 16. Twenty-six. Twenty-six entire chicken-flavored Top Ramens. You may look like Squidward when you ate too many Krabby Patties. But you'll also have twenty-six servings of chicken-flavored Top Ramen on you. It's something to consider. And if 52 Ramens isn't enough sodium for you, then there's still front pockets that are very deep and have this little turn in the end so that your phone doesn't do the old slip and slide out of your pocket. Back pockets are also very deep. And this little delicates pocket that I like to put my sunglasses in sometimes. If it's not for that, then it should be. As far as fit goes, I'm 6'2", 130 pounds, and I bought a small. These are remarkably long for a small, and the waist is a bit wide for me, but I'm also a bag of bones, so I have to wear belts anyways. And these pants do have average sized belt loops, so your cobra clips might be snug, but a fidlock fits well. That's basically it. The end of the waist strap is rubber, so you don't scratch up the paint on your dad's one-of-one one C5 Corvette that he doesn't drive. Eight biggie bags out of ten. 